Hello class, Professor Anderson here. Let's take a look at a very simple uh, rocket launch example. And let's see if we can identify uh, two things. So the motion diagram for this rocket and what the force diagram looks like. Okay, hopefully this sounds familiar to you. If not, it is on your homework. So when you see it, you'll say, oh, that's what he was talking about. All right, let's see what our motion diagram looks like. Motion diagram is, of course, velocity. So if my rocket is starting on the ground level, it's right there, and now it's just starting to move. And as it goes up, it starts to increase its speed. Okay, and so maybe this is what my motion diagram looks like. It starts out moving at a small velocity, it ends up moving at a much higher velocity. Okay, these are measurements of the velocity. So, let's think about the forces that are acting on it. And to do that, we need to draw a free body diagram. So there's my rocket. What are the forces that are acting on the rocket? What's one of the forces that's acting on the rocket? Maybe somebody that hasn't chimed in yet. Himanshu, what do you think? What's the one force that's acting on the rocket? There is gravity going down. Okay, gravity going down. Okay, what else, Himanshu? There is also thrust from the rocket going up. Okay, F thrust from the rocket going up. Anything else? Uh, there's also a normal force going up with the rocket. A normal force from what? Um, you said it's going up, like that? No, there's air resistance actually going down. Okay. Yeah. So is there a normal force? No. No. There's no normal force because it's not in contact with the ground, right? If we're ignoring when it's sitting there at launch, right, as soon as it takes off of the ground, it's not in contact with the ground anymore, so there can't be any normal force. So the last thing you said there was what? Air resistance going down. Air resistance going down. That is our drag force due to air resistance. So. This is what my free body diagram looks like. I have two forces going down. I have one force going up. Is everybody happy with my diagram? Anybody not happy with my diagram? I'll give you a hint. You should not be happy with my diagram. So what are we doing wrong? Uh, yeah, Anda, what do you think? What I am think, I doing uh, wrong? I think the thrust should be longer than the force of gravity. Because the rocket's accelerating upwards. Okay. If the rocket is accelerating upwards, then we have to have a positive number for this thing, right? This is going to be bigger than zero, which means that all my forces, F thrust going up, minus mg, minus F drag, has to be bigger than zero. And if that has to be bigger than zero, then F thrust has to be bigger than the combination of mg and F drag. Right? I can move these over to the other side of the equation and I get that. So you're exactly right that if this thing is going to accelerate upwards, F thrust has to be bigger and in fact, it has to be bigger than the sum of both of those. So maybe something more like that, right? You can measure them out and see if we're right. Maybe you have to go a little bit taller, but that seems about right. Okay? If F thrust is bigger than both of those things, then it will accelerate upwards. What if it is not bigger than both of those things? If F thrust is in fact equal to mg plus f drag, Anda, what do you think happens? The, it'd be constant, at constant speed. Okay, it would be at constant speed. Acceleration would be zero, it would be at constant speed. That would be maybe what we would call terminal speed for the launch. Good. Any questions about that one? All right, if there are, 
definitely come see me in office hours. Cheers. Thank you.